Here's the bolt for the flywheel. It snapped off halfway through. So I'm gonna try and extract that out. It should back out easy, hopefully. But uh, we'll fingers find out. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. But uh, we'll find out. So we're going through diagnostics with this machine here. Put a new carburetor on it. This Chinese carburetor is shiny. Uh, basically, we're trying to figure out why the starting circuit isn't working. If we bridge the starter solenoid, it works. But I'm thinking that the starter relay is no good. This one tried to turn over at least, right? Yeah. So where's the relay on this? It's right here. This one's got the piece on top. Yeah. The wiring might just be shot, but. <clears throat> oh, it did not want to come out. That's good. Not really too much corrosion in that one. I mean, worst case, we can always run a starter button. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so we went through and we pulled the harness off of the other machine that was on the bench. We took that machine off the bench and what we determined, the reason we weren't getting a crank is on the back end of this harness here, there's a light blue wire and it needs to be connected to a ground and it also needs to be connected to the negative on the battery. That seems to be our issue anyway with this. We were having no crank, no start. Um, I'm sure this ground here isn't the best in the world, but by putting a direct ground into the harness from the battery, it made everything kick right over like it's supposed to. So we're just gonna splice in a wire here, put a heat shrink tube on there, and call it a day for that. We got our choke assembly set up here. Now this is a... Honda choke, lever, cable. So if you look at a regular one, so on the standard one, you have a little end here. So it's just a regular choke cable for a Honda. We didn't want to spend the $50 that they wanted for these cables. What I ended up doing was removing this piece here and cutting this back to give us enough cable and you trim this end off to make it fit inside the tube. We didn't know if it was gonna work, so we didn't really film it, but the next one we do, we'll do a you know time lapse and show everybody how it works. But as for this one, I'm gonna say this one's gonna work well for us. Gives us full choke, full choke. It goes all the way back in. It's not the prettiest in the world up here. Some black tape, but it'll work for now. Testing purposes. All right, so cleaned up the harness, put it back on the bike. Um, I want to do the rear bearings for the swing arm on the DR. And the socket broke in there, so that's done for now. Not quite sure where we're going with that one. Went to drill and tap this, and uh, broke a drill bit in there. So, done with that one too. That's the Wiseco piston one. But this one looks good. This one's coming together. We still gotta do the rear diff fluid. Obviously, tires, everything else. Yeah. All right, so we went through, drilled a little bit more into the bolt. This is the uh, one that had the bolt stuck that broke off from us using the drill. We ended up getting down just enough, and I used the drill with the extractor here. Ended up backing itself right out. So 
We're gonna clean up down in here. It doesn't look like it messed up any of the threads. Get ourselves a new bolt and stop using the drill so we don't have to uh, worry about that anymore. Yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try and grind this down. Apparently it looks like this case was repaired at one point. I think it's JB Weld, I don't know. Yeah, the side cover at one point, they broke something up here, however they did it. The rest of the holes for the pull start seem okay. We'll have to tap them, make sure everything's good. But we gotta shave this down to make it so everything will line up smooth. So we're gonna engage time-lapse mode and uh, enjoy the tunes. Dude, I saw the greatest thing in the world. Easiest way to use a tap. Put it on the throw. Yep. I feel like that's sketchy. I don't. Hey, as long as it works. Did you snap it? I owe you one six by one. I told you! So, picked up a whole gasket set, all new seals, O-rings, all that fun stuff. Most of the stuff we get, we usually just go right on Amazon or uh, Amazon eBay. Or eBay. Um, some of the stuff that we've ordered, like the little caps, for the top of the forks. These I had to order directly from, uh, I ordered them through Partzilla. They had to come directly from the Yamaha manufacturer. So, and it's just, you know, the little dust shields that go on top of the forks. They took quite a while to get here, but they're finally here. Ooh. Probably all the oil that I put on there. Yeah, we need a little bit of a fire. It doesn't help that there's so much oil over here that it keeps catching on fire. Hopefully I got enough in there. Looks like you did. Yeah, but looks can be deceiving. I know. Especially with this stuff. You want a 10 mil? I'm just going to try and... Inside the engine. <laughs> Inside the engine? Yeah. Did that just cracked the case? No. It blew everything at me. Whew. That was hot. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I'm good. If I had it on before, I wouldn't have uh, burned my hand. That was a good one. Yeah, it was. We're gonna let that cool. Yeah. <clears throat> See what happens. Let that weld solidify a little bit. Yep. 
Well, let's cross our fingers. Oh, yes. That feels so good. Please don't stop now. Is it actually coming out or is it just twisting the thing off? Is it too hot to touch? Nope. Look at that. Holy I got it! Lee. Well, it's out. Wow. Okay. So, uh, don't use a drill <laughs> with a tap and die. All right, well, now we can use the full start. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I got all the threads, and I went a little too deep, and that's what happened. It just, like you said, it went a little too deep, and then that was it. I was always, that's always my biggest fear when doing that kind of stuff. I've done it, but I don't like doing it. All right, we'll see if this uh, this one works. Go ahead. Try not to hit my face. Seems to be working good. There's no gas in that carburetor. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we could try if you wanted to, but uh, that's a lot of work. We'll leave it alone for now. But for now, we have the pull on. Like we said before, we're gonna try to get this new case here if we can find one. But for now, she'll work. All right, so this is the rear end for the 225DR. We got it disconnected. It was not a fun job. You can see we got out the Sawzall, the grinder. We had to pull out the torches. All right, so we ended up cutting this side here, the shaft that comes in here, and the bearing race were frozen, rusted fast on both of them. So for this one, we ended up cutting here and the whole swing arm ended up coming out for us. This is the bearing race. The and bearing race and part of the shaft there. So this is the one where we cut off with the hacksaw or sawzall and the grinding wheel. This is the other side. We attempted to use a Allen six millimeter, but it didn't work. Once we got the swing arm off, we put a pipe wrench on this end, and it ended up just twisting right out for us, which, thank God. This side here started to pull everything out here so we could drill it out, do everything, and I ended up cracking this piece here. So, as you can tell, we've had a fun night. So we just disassembled the entire side of the engine here, removed the cover on this side, pulled this all off. But from what we could tell, everything looks nice in there. The oil is milky, There's a little bit of water in there. But all in all, she looks good. Even in here for the gears and stuff, that all looks good. Definitely gonna clean it up. But now I have to see if we can get this piece. Hopefully we can. So the DR will be down for a little while longer. <laughs> oh, and there's a 200. And there's a 200 over in the corner. Just sitting and waiting. It's still alive. Say hi, 200. Hi, 200. <laughs> hi. But she's just kind of sitting off to the side. We're trying to get, well, this one's on the back burner for now. But we're in the process of that one. And then this one over here, as you saw, we got the bolt out. So we got to get a new bolt for that. All right, so we're going to tear apart the rear axle, get it ready for when the bearings come in. Try to, anyway. Did we even state the bearings? I don't think we did. I think we did. Maybe not. But the bearings in the rear end are shot. It's kind of, it's quite floppy. We already got it down. Might as well do it right. Oh, we did such a good job cleaning up all the tools. Yeah. 
Just for bringing my back out again. Not that bad, though. No. Nowhere near. It was cooked. There she goes. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't think she was going to turn, but... Did you think you were about to hit it with the door? No, I wasn't going to that far. Well, they're both coming off at the same time. Hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to let it ride. That's all we can do at this point. Just a quick recap on this week's video. We got the 225 with the Wise Co. This is the one where we had snapped the bolt off in the crankshaft. We were able to get it out, removed, threads were still beautiful. So we saved this one. Uh, we're gonna, we have the bearings on order for the front axle should be here soon. Uh, we're gonna try to get new tires on it, battery box, little electrical things that we have to finish up and connect everything up properly. We have this one here where we're just waiting for the rear axle bearings to come in. Once they come in, finish tearing it down, get those replaced, get this one together, and hopefully she'll be a runner too. We have the Lonely DR strapped up. We have the parts on order for this as well. The bearing housing that I cracked, we need to, needed to order new swing arm bolts, a new housing, a new cover. We ended up cutting it here with the Sawzall. So we're just gonna replace it. 200 still over in the corner. And this one is uh, kind of becoming our parts machine at the moment. But all in all, hopefully, this is crunch time. We'll get these, these two running and moving, hopefully this week. If you like this kind of content, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to be informed when we post a new video. Got any comments, questions? We answer all the questions we can. At least the ones we know the answers to. And uh, thanks for watching.